America Construction. Uh, I'm in South Orange, New Jersey. Uh, it's May and we just wrapped up a beautiful uh, vinyl siding job over here. We used uh, a double five panel, about 12 foot six inches long, Main Street. And uh, you know what I want to tell you about is the siding underneath the panel, okay? the existing siding. Okay? You have options. You can either remove it or you can go over it. Uh, me, if it was my house, you know, it's all, the best option is always to remove it. Gives you a, ch a chance to check for termite mite infestation, uh, uh, mold growth, uh, any uh, structural issues. But you know, we live in a real world. Sometimes it's not practical. Sometimes it's not in the budget. In this case, we have a particle board siding. It gets a bad rap because back in the '90s, there was a lot of lawsuits going on. Um, people, uh, you know, we were getting a lot of mold growth. The product was breaking down. And it's not necessarily the particle board that's the problem. The problem is that the product was not maintained. It, you need to maintain that product, uh, just like you need to maintain wood uh, siding, just like you need to maintain James Hardy siding, and it wasn't maintained. And because of that, they, they got a lot of mold growth, the product broke down. We saw something similar here, okay? So I gave the customer two options, you know? She chose to go over it, so what we did is we removed all the rotted areas, okay, so that it would not continue to rot. And then we covered, actually covered a house with Tyvek, and then 3H fan full then siding, okay? Now, why did we go over it with, with Tyvek? Because vinyl siding alone will not keep water from the sheathing of your home. If you look on a panel of siding, there's a weep hole, okay? Why? Because siding will take in water. Okay? It'll take in water from penetrations, it'll take in water just from, you know, moisture trying to escape from the house and it'll hit the vinyl and the vinyl is a non-permeable product and the moisture needs somewhere to escape, okay? So vinyl siding alone was not going to keep the wind and the water out of uh, the sheathing, of the wood, I'm sorry, of the wood, of the, of the particle wood and continue uh, to rot it down over the years. So I suggest, look, at the very least, let's put... Tyvek over the existing wood, okay? And Tyvek is an excellent water barrier, okay? Um, and then we'll put the 3 8 insulation over, then we'll put the vinyl siding. If we didn't do that, you know, who knows what, what would happen 10 years from now, 15 years from now, with all the water, you know, uh, through pen just through penetrations, wind driven wind, rain, it will get back there, I don't, regardless what anybody says. You can ask the manufacturer yourself. Next time you look at a panel, you'll see it has weep holes in underneath it because you do get water behind the siding. But the Tyvek eliminates the, the chance of it eliminates the, the chance of water getting behind uh, the siding and on the particle board siding and riding it out. All right. uh, if you have any questions uh, on this installation, or maybe you have a house that's similar like this, uh, anything, give us a call. Bruce with uh, New America Construction and go to my website, njdiscountvinylsiding.com, all right? Thank you.